Security forces have detained more than 1,300 people in Russia at the protests denouncing mobilization, a rights group said this hours after President Vladimir Putin ordered Russia's first military draft since World War II. Details in this next report. More than a thousand people have been arrested at protests across Russia and one-way flights out of the country have sold out in a wave of panic triggered by this moment. A speech made by President Putin on Wednesday, calling up 300,000 conscripts to fight in Ukraine with immediate effect, signifying a major escalation in the conflict and Russia's first wartime mobilization since World War II. Moments after Putin's speech, citizens were already receiving orders to enlist, according to a human rights lawyer. In St. Petersburg, recruitment officers handed packs of conscription papers to homeowners associations. Here, and in 37 other Russian cities, demonstrations erupted. Protesters chanting no to war as police carried out arrests. Russia's defense minister said the army was calling up people with experience of service and military specialists. But there was little clarity as to who these would be. Medical skills appeared to be in demand, as medics across Moscow received summons en masse to go and receive mobilization orders. On the Moscow metro, men could be seen studying call-up papers. On the streets, some residents were concerned. One told Reuters, you can always feel worried at moments like these because you have a wife and kids and you think about it. Another in the city of Kursk said, they're not letting people out of Kursk. There are police cordons everywhere, checking each car. If the man is from Kursk, they turn you back. Fears of not being allowed to leave sent one-way flights out of Russia skyrocketing in price, selling out soon after Putin's announcement. Google Trends data showed a spike in searches for Avia sales, Russia's most popular flight booking site. On Thursday morning, dozens of Russians from Moscow touched down in Serbia's capital, Belgrade. One traveler, Pavel, who'd booked his flight before the announcement, said he would be returning to Russia. As our defense minister said, 1% of the population would be sufficient to fulfill the goal of the mobilization. The Kremlin declined to comment on whether the borders would be close to those subject to the mobilization order and asked people to be patient as the law is clarified. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.